FastGraphs offers five forecasting calculators. Although investors can learn a great deal from the past, only the future can be invested in. Therefore, FastGraphs provides subscribers five separate and distinct forecasting calculators. The first forecasting calculator, titled Estimates, is a dark brown graph and is the default calculator that will automatically show each time a graph is initially produced. This is presented as the default calculator on the basis that near-term analyst estimates are more likely likely to be more accurate than farther out estimates. The FastGraphs forecasting calculators are presented in fiscal year format only. This forecasting calculator and the next will show two to three years of forward analyst earnings estimates depending on two primary factors. First of all, each company's fiscal year end will determine whether two or three forward years of analyst earnings estimates are included. Second, FastGraphs will only include estimates when a credible number of at least two or more analysts are reporting. Note, when there are no estimates available for a company, subscribers will be alerted and directed to utilize either the historical CAGR or compound annual growth rate calculator or the custom forecast calculator options where they are free to input their own data. The second forecasting calculator option titled Normal PE produces a dark blue graph which will produce the same consensus estimates as the estimates graph. However, the primary valuation reference line will be based on the company's calculated historical normal P.E. ratios. This calculator offers a drop-down window where the subscriber can choose the appropriate normal P.E. ratio that was manifest over normal time frames. As you click and choose different normal P.E. ratios, the graph will automatically adjust. Therefore, subscribers can utilize the historical normal P.E. ratio of their choice or choose one that they are most comfortable with. Note, these historical P.E. ratios will differ slightly from what is seen when the historical earnings and price correlated graph is drawn because these do not include estimate data in the calculations. However, the differences will, for the most part, be minor and or immaterial. The third forecast calculator option is titled three to five year trend line growth and produces a light brown graph which provides a simple trend line estimate of earnings growth based on consensus three to five year long-term growth rate estimates of analysts reporting to S&P Capital IQ. It's important to note that this is a separate and distinct set of earnings forecasts than we saw on the first two calculators. Consequently, this graph is most useful when evaluating earnings estimates based on a long-term growth rate trend. Therefore, the focus should be primarily on the last couple of years of estimates on the graph as the near-term estimates will differ from the specific near-term estimates provided on the estimates and or normal PE earnings calculator options. In other words, this calculator option is offered as a long-term earnings growth perspective for those subscribers interested in a longer-term view. Historical CAGR or Compound Annual Growth Rate Calculator generates earnings forecasts based based on a company's historical compound annual growth rate achievement. Utilizing a company's historical growth rates as a forecasting option is favored by many analysts and investors. This forecast calculator also includes a drop-down window that allows subscribers to select from a series of historical pre-calculated growth rates over various time frames that the subscriber feels is the most appropriate growth rate or forecast. Note, these historical growth rate achievements will differ slightly from what is seen when the historical earnings and price correlated graph is drawn because they do not include estimate data in the calculations. However, the differences will, for the most part, be minor and or immaterial. The fifth and final calculator option is titled Custom, and it produces a red graph that allows the subscriber the ability to create their own forecast calculations. There are multiple customization options available with the custom graph. Subscribers can input and utilize any P.E. ratio of their choice to create the primary valuation reference line. Additionally, subscribers can input their own earnings and or dividend expectations 
for each specific future year and provide any growth rate that they consider appropriate. Note, in order to initially draw a complete graph, this graph defaults to the same estimates presented in the three to five year trend line graph. However, subscribers can simply click the estimates box and the custom calculator will automatically add the near term estimates found in either the estimates and or the normal PE ratio calculators and then follow these near term estimates with the trend line growth rate calculation thereafter. Additionally, subscribers are free to customize virtually every forecast data point to include PE ratios, growth rates, rates for each specific year's earnings and dividends on the graph according to their own calculations or views. Dynamic rate of return calculations and functionality are included in all five of the forecast calculators. When the subscriber points to any of the dots or triangles on the calculator, a pop-up with calculations and data points will appear. If the subscriber double-clicks any of the dots or triangles, a dotted line from point A to point B will appear and remain until it is clicked off. Additionally, color-coded arrows will appear indicating a green circle with white arrows for a gain or a red circle with white arrow for a loss. In addition to providing important return calculations and other metrics to include the date price and the representative P-E ratio, these pop-ups will remain on the graph, allowing the subscriber to toggle between any of the five calculators to the next without the pop-up closing. This empowers the subscriber with more efficient thinking processes as they evaluate estimate calculation options on the various graphs. To remove the pop-ups, simply click the selected dot or triangle. Also, if the dots or triangles are not double-clicked, they will automatically disappear as you move your cursor from one point to the next. The analyst scorecard is another valuable feature that helps with analyzing forecast earnings growth rate estimates. The analyst scorecard relates to the first two calculator options, the estimates calculator and the normal PE ratio calculator. To access the analyst scorecard, simply click on any of the words or icons in the fast facts box to the right of the forecasting calculator. You can also open or close the calculator by clicking any of these boxes. You can also access the analyst scorecard by clicking the words analyst scorecard in the blue bar here. Since the estimates on these first two calculators are based on specific one year forward and two year forward consensus analyst estimates, the analyst scorecard provides subscribers a perspective on how accurate the analysts have been with those specific estimates in the past. The scorecard is intended to give subscribers a perspective of how reliable analyst forecasts previously made have been for any given company based on the analyst's past records. In other words, it provides another thinking point on the fast graphs as a powerful tool to think with. There are three options that the subscriber can review and choose by clicking on the tabs at the top of the analyst scorecard. The one year forward scorecard calculates previous analyst accuracy within a reliable 10% margin of error. The two-year forward scorecard calculates previous analyst accuracy within a 20% margin of error. The scores are presented in both tabular and graphic form. Note the analyst scorecard is also built with dynamic features that allow subscribers to remove items from the graphic for simplicity and convenience. If you click any of the words, In the legend at the bottom, actual estimate analyst, the lines and or shadings on the graph will be removed. To bring them back, simply click on the words in the legend again. The summary option provides a simple graphical expression of analyst accuracy for both the one-year and two-year previous forecasts. And finally, there is a tab titled How This Works that provides a brief explanation of the scorecard and scores.